Mandy Harvey is a power vocalist to be reckoned with. In 2017, she became a national figure on NBC's America's Got Talent. And she earned the golden buzzer from Simon Cowell. He doesn't do that very often. To impress him is something. Well, her brand new single released this weekend. It's a song that she wrote about embracing all of who you are, including the broken pieces. This is especially significant because Mandy lost her hearing when she was 18 years old. She joins me now with her sign language translator, Robin. Would you please welcome the lovely Mandy Harvey. <laughs> Mandy, I am so honored to have you here with me tonight and thank you for coming and we're so glad to have Robin as well. Oh, stop, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> this is well, so fun for me. Well, I'm amazed your story, so many people who have dreamed of doing music they can't imagine doing it without the ability to hear. Yeah. Uh, you lost your hearing when you were a teenager. Yeah. Um, but you didn't give up your dream to do music. Well, I did initially, like at, at very first, you know, I think any time you have a huge life change and something like just smacks you right in the face, um, there was a period of time where I had to like step back and reanalyze my life, but also the world was very much in that mindset of if you are broken or if you are different or you can't hear, then you can't do this or you can't do that. And so I kind of believed the stories were true until I figured out that the only person who knows who I am is me. Hmm. And so stop telling me what my limitations are. Let me show you what I'm actually capable of. I think some of us, <laughs> beautiful. Some of us are amazed that you would be able to sing on pitch when you yeah. can't hear the notes. So describe for us how you're able to sing on pitch, which you obviously do, uh, and to keep the beat when you can't hear it. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of work. I think uh, at the, the cornerstone of it all, I'm a musician, hmm. period. And so hearing or deaf musician stays. And so as a musician, as a person who's kind of obsessed with figuring it out, I have created systems that work for me. So one of the things that I started with was using a visual tuner so you can actually like hum or make noise into it and see what you're creating. And then I would transition that into trying to find new ways so I'd feel on the vibrations of the sound that I was making. And then as the notes change, you can feel the vibrations move. And so truly, I think the biggest barrier for the whole process was learning to trust myself because the muscle is there. It's a muscle, you train it, you work it out. And I've had 18 years prior of hard study and work yeah. that I, I knew was there. And as far as like maintaining pitch, there's, there is a part of it, of born natural ability does, does help, but I work hours and hours endlessly every day and have since I was like four. So. Were you afraid the first time you tried to sing knowing that you couldn't hear it and you were depending on the tuner to see what those notes were? I, I can't even imagine that. You know, it, it's the weirdest thing. I think it actually gave me the biggest freedom because you know, losing my hearing was my biggest fear. That happened. So at one point, you just start to think, well, what's the worst that can happen at this point? Everything is already gone. So if I mess up at this point, who cares? <laughs> you know, um, it's given me an incredible freedom to be able to sing without being able to judge myself. And yes, I might make a mistake or sing something not exactly perfect, but at the same time, I'm not going to hear it. Hmm. So I'm not going to be able to criticize it to death and then cripple myself to say that it's not good enough. I get to work hard and I work hard daily and then at some point just let go and say, I've done the work. If it happens, if it's successful, fantastic. If I make a mistake, I'm human and I tried. What a beautiful way to live life, not just for singing, but for living. You know, Mandy, one of the things that was surprising to me, not everyone in the deaf community embraced your ability to sing and to continue to be vocal. Uh, I was sort of stunned to find out that there were some people that were very angry at you and even 
uh, sent you nasty letters. Yeah. That must have hurt when people didn't appreciate how hard you were working to be well, able to continue your dream. I think I'm in, as a person who's connected with politics, you know that you can't please everybody. And yes. sometimes the people with the loudest voices are the smallest groups of people. Hmm. And so I was genuinely loved by a lot of people. There's always going to be somebody that you, you know, hack <laughs> off, you know, but um, it's, it gave me a decision to make. I either allow those voices to prevent me from pursuing my dream or I say, okay, there's reasons for that pain to exist. I want to learn more about why they feel that way so that I can improve my understanding of that hurt that's mm. there, but at the same time, move forward with what I'm gonna do anyway. So embrace and then hopefully find a compromise or just let them know that I actually care and still pursue my dream. Andy, I, I wanna say this to you before you sing for us. You are a beautiful person inside and out and you inspire us all. Oh. I am so grateful. Well, thank you. Just grateful for you. I'll, I'll give that thanks right back to my parents. So I was like, uh, for both well, of it. Let me tell our audience, Mandy Harvey's song, Masterpiece, it's available everywhere music is sold and streamed. You can find all of her music and her inspirational story at mandyharveymusic.com. On your screen, write it down and order it.